Uh, well, I don't have to recruit a knocker. Honestly, I can probably take the boss right now. Uh, let's see. I say as I look at my stats. It'd be iffy. The problem with this boss is that, well, he can kill you. Like, with he has magic, and he can... <coughs> he has maz Mazianga. And if you have that, if that happens, you just, you get to reset. Like, there's no, do not pass go, do not collect $200. It's, you just die. So we don't, we don't want that. All right, so I want, first I'll buy the Titan boots, and I'll buy some Kaiser armor. Yes. All right, Reiko. I could have skipped on the Kaiser armor. But... And I probably should have, now that I think about it. Yeah, I should have skipped on the Kaiser armor. I'm going to regret that. Alright, let's see. Sell, sell, sell. You don't want to use your incenses right away. You want to hold on to them. Want to hold on to them. The reason you want to hold on to them is because the Guardian system kind of incentivizes you to... Uh, wait as long as possible to use the incenses because the bonuses and negatives are only calculated at the time you were awarded the guardian. They are never recalculated until you, of course, get a new guardian. Alright, so let's see what we got here. I think I'm. this is all going to be uh, an Ikika? <laughs> Yeah, a Brute Ihika. Mm. Brute Ihika's not bad. The reason he's not bad is because he knows Cleave and Hellfist, and he's got pretty good hit points. Uh, Hellfist means he can, he has a regular attack he can do from the back row. Cleave actually hits everything on the screen. <laughs> it's a tackle. It's pretty good. But... But and I'm not high enough level to actually do the boggle, right? Yeah, I don't really like boggle or bogle, however you say that. But 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 we can continue on. So let's go through the dungeon and check all the doors and stuff. That's a fortune teller. I, I don't want to go through there. Yes. Alright. Let's actually check all the doors correctly this time. Most of these are just NPCs, but... Uh... So this room right here only has some money on it on Charlie's route. Uh, Ryuji, Ri uh, Ryuchi or Ryuji, whatever his name was, is in there. He's actually looking. The Demon Emperor kidnapped his girlfriend, and he's looking for her. Actually, I think. Uh, yeah, you can't use them during a new moon. Uh, but I think Ryuji. If you go back to the, uh, if I were to go back to the storage room before I came in here, he would have actually said as much as well. Thank you for the 20 Maka. That will, that, that's it. That's... That's the missing link. That's that's what I needed to break, bust this game wide open. So this guy tells you about like demon recruitment. He's telling you like like which ones are dark demons, which ones are uh, recruitable, like you know. 
just basic stuff. Um, basically, what he's saying is there are there are major races and minor races. So, for example, Phase and Cobalt, uh, uh, Jirai, which Cobalt is. So, Goblin and Cobalt are members of the same major race, even though they're different minor races. So, they're, these are all Fey, and he's a Jirai, but they're a member of the same major race. And uh, Fusion is, d the rules are different for members of the same major race. Yes. Yep. Yep. Oh, come on. Yes. I'm lost. I want to become friends. No. I think there's a ch No, there's not a chest in here. I don't really know what she means by this. I know I've seen demons react poorly when I talk to them, and I've had a dead demon of the same race in my party. That might be what she's talking about. Uh, it might be something... There might be some kind of uh, hidden... That's right. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh... It might have something to do with maybe there's a hidden value that if you kill demons that you have already recruited, maybe it makes them harder to recruit in the future. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but yeah, the the old man he won't he'll only give you the one item. Alright, so... Did I already get this item? No, I didn't. Well, that'll come in handy. But I got these items. This was an incense, and then the other one was the battle yo-yo. So this dungeon's not very large. I want to recruit one of you, please. Nice, that was easy. So pretty much the only demon I'm missing from this place is the knocker. And I do want to... I have like a whole list of things that I need to do. <clears throat> but I'll do it off screen because this is how I've decided to handle the magic boxes. I've decided to basically ignore them. <laughs> like I will show you where they are, but I will ignore them. And come back off screen and get them because like you have to walk around like because I tried to get them on my way through in SMT 1 but it just it just didn't work man couple that with the fact that sometimes for some reason in SMT no excuse me SMT 1 SMT 2 some for some reason in SMT 2 sometimes the boxes just decide to not have any ever have anything in them and I have no idea why. Hmm. Alright, kill you. That's bad. That's really bad, so we're gonna try and escape. We gonna we just gonna run because that's all we can do now because we're both paralyzed. All right, so we need to use this. I don't think we can use the comp. Yeah. So we use the disparalyze on Tomiki, and we summon. Cobalt. Let's go ahead and summon Siok as well. 
and Jack and Goblin. All right, you know Paralyti. Boom. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, let's change my config. Because I prefer Auto Battle A and Word instead of icons. Um. Let's put you here, here, and here. Here, here, here. Okay. Now, how many bullets does Reiko have? 29. Okay, so I need to save her bullets for the boss battle. Where am I? Okay. By the way, that door on the left there is a one-way door. If you go through it, you have to just walk back around. It's annoying. <laughs> Not that I've, you know, done that. Nope. Not before. Hmm. Um... Let's just do that. So, give me a few seconds to prepare, and I will be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have returned. I took that chance to go use the restroom, get me something to drink, and drop a save state. The reason I dropped a save state is because uh, this guy is kind of a luck-based mission. Um, Fallen Vine has 165 hit points, and he's got Zionga and Ma Zionga. Either one of those attacks will basically kill a person or kill everybody in your party. It's crazy. If he does it the first... As the first thing in a round. Like, the first thing he does, if he casts Ma Zionga, I just get to reset. There's not much I can do. Um, but thankfully he doesn't have a whole lot of... Hit points... Meaning that as long as I don't miss, well, so that's right why I dropped the save state. That's a good demonstration there. There's like not, not really anything I can do. It's just game over. Alright, so let's see. Let's try this again. Ideally, he'll spend his first round casting Dia and waste his turn. Yeah! So, most of the damage I got is going to come from the gun. With the secondary being Agilau. But the reason I'm stacking Raku Kaja, because it actually does reduce the damage that you take from... Uh, Mazianga. So, if he casts it in the second round... My human party members probably won't die. All right, cool. Not too bad. This guy can also drop a heat glaive, which is... A decent weapon for males if you've got either one of the like males in your party uh, especially since you don't get the Corsica but it appears I did not get did not get it that time all right so now that we have defeated him let's return everybody let's return Jack 
the kobold, and the goblin. We'll leave Siak out. In case we run into some, uh... Zombies, we can hum at them. And we want to get out of here. We have the Ring of Humility. We are done in this domain. There are a few things that I want to do. Um, and I'm going to do them off screen. But... Mostly it involves, like, demon negotiation, and uh, I'm going to go back and get that gem from that magic box. That's more or less how I've decided to handle that. Um, like, I've decided to go and do that off-screen. Like, any of the magic box, if it's not a full moon, then I'll just come back later and get it off-screen. So now we have access to the Domain of Gluttony. And I'm just peeking my head in here, so you can kind of get a glimpse at it here. And we're going to... Yeah, I don't like those little spinny... <laughs> spinny tiles. It's very annoying. Um, because I'm probably going to peek my head in here and recruit a couple of things... Uh, specifically, I want to get an Uko box on the first floor if I can. Cobalt and Knocker are also available for recruitment on like the first two floors, I think. And then when you get on, when you start getting on the floors after that, it. What do we got here? Oh, there's the Uko box. Well, let's try and recruit him. While I've got you on... Yes, I do. Yes, I will. Sure. Nice. Got me an Uko box. Uh, we want to go south. Okay. We want to gun. Why is my gun unequipped? I hate it when they do that. Randomly, the gun will unequip, and I'm not sure why. All right, so we're going to Bufula the... Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to defend, defend, and we're going to... Hama. Get rid of her. She's immune to bullets anyway. The, the gremlins are not too dangerous. Okay, so let's get out of here. Now we got the domain of gluttony out of the way. And I want to see if a certain thing... If going into the domain of gluttony is one of the triggers. I've been trying to... So, uh, the gymnasium where we fought... Fawn actually turns into a uh, demon manor. And I, I'm not sure of what the exact triggers are. I was reading that the trigger is getting to level 10. Uh, because at level 10... So if you go back in there after defeating Fawn, you'll, get, you'll spawn singular demons. They're all dark demons. You can't recruit any of them, I don't think. But you'll spawn like single demons in there and they'll sp they'll continue to spawn until you hit level 10. After you hit level 10 they stop spawning. Uh so I was reading that that's the trigger for uh changing the uh club room guys like his text. So if you talk to a pixie there, there are two NPCs. There are two ways to find out about how the gymnasium being turned into a 
uh, Demon Manor. One, a pixie will tell you if you talk to them. Uh, two, um, there is a soccer club member, or football, as it's labeled. And... Um, they'll be, he'll be like, oh yeah, no, did you hear? The, some weird old man has moved into the, the gymnasium and turned it into this. And I'm not sure of the exact, yeah, see, this is his actual thing here. So I'm unsure of like what the actual trigger is. So we're going to take this moment to save and quit for the day. Save. I'll see you guys next time on SMTF.